A Brief History of Pi, P by Rusty Waller Pi, P is the ratio of a circle's circumference divided by its diameter. As an irrational number, Pi's exact value is elusive, though it has been approximated by many ancient cultures. Known for over 4,000 years, even calculating Pi to the number of seconds in those years would still be an approximation. Consider the following historical approximations of Pi. The Babylonians calculated the area of a circle using three times the square of its radius, approximating pi as three. A Babylonian tablet, Ka 1960 BC, indicated a closer value of 3.25. The Babylonians calculated this value of pi using base 60 fractions. The Egyptians also carefully calculated the value of pi. The Rhine papyrus, Ka 1650 BC, shows they approximated pi as 3.1605. In fact, when one examines the Great Pyramid, dropping the height down to form the radius of a circle has pi and measuring against the square of the base has pi calculated properly to four decimal places. Again, we are reminded that ancient cultures were more advanced than many would like to admit. Archimedes of Syracuse lived between 287 BC and 212 BC. This great mathematician used the Pythagorean theorem to approximate pi by calculating the areas of inscribed and circumscribed polygons around a circle. Archimedes concluded that pi lies between 3 and 1 7, 3 1 7, a value of 3 14 2 8 5 7, and 3 and 10 71, 3 10 71, which is a value of 3 1 14 8 4 5. Zhu Chongji was a Chinese mathematician living between 429 BC and 502 BC. He approximated pi as the fraction 355 divided by 113, 355, 113 by using an inscribed regular polygon with 24, 576 sides. This great mathematician achieved a very precise approximation of pi. His approximation is correct to six decimal places. The Greek letter pi, p, was first used to represent the value of pi in 1706 by William Jones and was later popularized by Euler in 1737. In the 18th century, Georges Buffon, a French mathematician, devised a probability-based method to calculate pi. Pi is essential in various mathematical and physical formulas involving arcs, curves, ellipsoids, and volumes of solids. It also appears in physics and engineering, describing phenomena like pendulum motion, string vibrations, and alternating currents. It is time to conduct a simple experiment. To understand pi's practical application, use a compass to draw a circle. Measure the circumference with a string and a ruler, and then measure the diameter. Dividing the circumference by the diameter yields approximately 314, regardless of the circle's size. This demonstrates the constant nature of pi, an irrational number fundamental to the natural world. In the previous section, we explored the formula e raised to the pi times i power plus 1 equals 0, revealing the profound interconnectedness of mathematical constants and their deeper implications. By looking into the face of this formula, you may be looking into the creative face of God.